Good evening, everyone. It's uh, 7 6 2019, and I wanted to do this video to uh, give you an update on uh, California Quake aftershocks. A friend I know on Facebook who lives in LA just posted that there was a 7.1 aftershock in LA. The original earthquake at uh, 6.4 was the strongest quake to hit California in 20 years. And then on, that was Thursday, and then on Friday there was a 5.1 uh, tremor aftershock. All this is further warning signs that America as a whole nation needs to repent. And a message to the Christian America is to wake up and stand up for Jesus right now. Get your eyes off the rapture and setting dates and focus on lost souls to win for his kingdom. And then a uh, Iran oil tanker was seized, and I got this from Al Jazeera News. British Marines seized Iranian oil tanker off the Straits of Gibraltar on orders of the U.S. government. The ship called Grace One. Iran summoned the British ambassador to Tehran. This has been described as warmongering. Trump's message to Iran uh, was threats can come back to bite you. And Iran has said on the 4th of July it will begin enriching uranium at higher levels in days. And to that, Trump said on the 4th of July that Iran is playing with fire. 2 Peter 3, 6, whereby the world that was then being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And then lastly, they just declared a state of emergency in the state of California because they're saying that they could see a bigger quake than they've already saw, the one, I, the one that they I just reported to you about, uh, the 7.1 quake. And so they have just issued a, a state of emergency. And remember, we've been talking about this uh, even recently, about that swarm of quakes where they had four or five hundred quakes, uh, all different size quakes and stuff uh, within a 24-hour period. That wasn't that long ago. And then uh, also, I think the day uh, yesterday, I think there was also a, a strong quake up in British Columbia in that uh, Cascadia zone as well. And so, uh, you know, they've been talking and warning about this stuff for a long time. And they've also been, we know, warning about a big, uh, the big one out in California for years. And uh, so maybe we're just about ready to see that. And of course, recently people have been saying, you know, we've, we've been waiting for some big event. You know, we've sensed that some big event is coming and some big event is on the way. And of course, you know, some people believe that that could be you know, war getting ready to break out in the Middle East. And it really, it could be uh, several things all at the same time. It could be that war is about to break out in the Middle East at any time. And that if, uh, I think that if it does break out anytime soon in the Middle East, that this could be the beginning of Ezekiel 38 and 39, to be honest about it. Uh, because uh, it's going to drag... You know, Russia and the United States into something. Uh, obviously, if they're seizing a tanker, you know, telling the British to seize the tanker or something that, you know, they're, it, this is all building up to something. I don't think the situation is going away anytime soon. And I, I think that ultimately, it's inevitable that this is going to lead to war. This is slowly but surely, this is what's been building up for the last several weeks. And it doesn't seem like the situation's getting any better. And uh, we just had a few days ago uh, Israel threatening to take some kind of action inside of Iran, you know, like bombing nuclear sites, uh, what they think are potential nuclear sites because of that uranium them saying that they were going to begin enriching the uranium again. And so there was always that possibility that at any time, you know, we could uh, turn on the news or wake up in the morning and find out that Israel's gone into Iran and did some bombing. 
And should that happen, because Russia has that military pact with Iran and Syria, uh, I don't think they've already made statements that, you know, that they have the military pact to help to uh, defend Iran in the case of a war or something. So they've already made that plain. So any type of of action that gets started anytime soon, they're going to... You know they're going to get in involved, and we recently had that thing with the uh, nuclear sub that's still a not uh, uh, somewhat of a mystery that we don't really know what really happened, and maybe we we never will. You know uh, if there was actually an exchange of fire between uh, between the United States and Russian subs, I don't think we're go going to see any of them and find out any more than we already know. And then lastly, I wanted to mention that the next couple of videos that I do are going to be specifically directed towards uh, Christian America and the church. And they're going to be one topic videos instead of being divided up. Usually I'll divide my videos up into multiple subjects, uh, usually three subjects is how I do it. But um, the Holy Spirit, you know, has directed me this time to do uh, the videos on a single subject, just focus on uh, the single subject. And these uh, next two messages, video messages, are directed towards uh, Christian America. And um, this is what we're, you know, we're seeing the stuff and everything. We know judgment and everything is coming, but there's certain things that he expects out of us. And like I just got done mentioning a few minutes ago, uh, I, the Lord is upset with uh, many people in the church simply because they're, they're, they're supposed to be watching for his return and everything. That's what we're told to do. And naturally, we would be excited to see him return. But there's some things that he wants to get done between now and the time that the rapture takes place. And, and there's really right at this point too much focusing on the rapture people setting dates and all this other stuff and causing distractions and all of that stuff focusing on the rapture when people are dying and their sons and going to hell. Now, we know his attitude towards lost souls and wanting to win souls to his kingdom. So there's no question that that's more important to him is for us to be focused on serving him and winning souls than to be concerned about the rapture every single day. Uh, that concludes the message for now. I'll be back with the messages for the church soon.